Before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that this video is to show you a process of how I was able to fix an issue when applying automatic weights to my model. So I'm going to discuss the steps that I learned throughout the creation of my model. But I'm aware that there are other videos out there that can show you other solutions to fixing this issue. But I just wanted to show you one of the solutions that I was able to find to fix an issue that I was having. So I hope that this video can help you along the way if you're encountering a similar issue that I was having at the time. So in this video we'll be talking about um, a common issue that can be found when you pair your rig with your mesh and you start to move the bones uh, in, in uh, pose mode and you notice that certain parts are stretching, deforming, such as if I was to move this arm here the uh, certain parts in on the head would deform and go completely wrong. So let me give you an example. So we have here a character that I created and the purpose of this video was to learn uh, how to rig and you can see the video on my YouTube channel uh, link in the description and it's basically him um, basically lifting his head and then uh, doing a thumbs up to the camera. Just a simple bit of animation that I wanted to do but it's it's part of a process of me learning about animation and 3D modeling, a thing that I've been doing over the last year and really have enjoyed uh, the challenges along the way and and it's helped me to de uh, de develop an understanding of the capabilities and the, the, how powerful the program Blender is. So I have here a 3D model I do. So I'm going to basically, um, I'm going to select all of them and I'm gonna select the bones. So what you're gonna do, what you always do is you always uh, select your mesh first and then the bones after. That basically is telling Blender that you want to pair or parent the um, the mesh to the bones then you uh, basically on your on your key tab uh, on your keyboard you uh, you press control p and instantly you'll get um, some options set parent to now what we're going to be doing in this one is we'll be setting the parent with uh, uh, basically to an armature to form with automatic weights so if I select it, wait for the computer to basically and Blender to uh, do its magic, and that's it. So you think, okay, that's that's done, that's great, I mean, pretty simple that was. And then you get to the process of going into, so if I collect, uh, select the bones, go into pose mode, and then if I go over here and then click the head and then have him tilt forward, you can already tell what the problem is. So if I show you, his beard is gone into um, some weird, uh, weird. It's gone basically in, inside of the head, the, and the eyebrows are completely gone. And it's not what we want. We want when he tilts his head or turns his head left and right. So if I go and do it, if I do left and right, uh, you can already tell there's a bit of an issue. So I've just turned it slightly uh, by 50, 56 degrees and you can tell that the eyebrows are gone and the beard is gone. It, and it's slightly there but it isn't. Now, one of the issues is because this beard here is, although parented to the bones, it's not correctly gone to the right bone. It's not correctly gone to this bone as its main weight. It's gone to these specific bones that are normally the cause of issue. Let me show you. So if I uh, select the bone and then the beard, we're now gonna go into um, weight paints. And if I select this bone here, you'll notice here that the beard is now high, uh, highlighted up. It basically, you can see some colors, uh, some orange color. And that basically is, uh, essentially it's like temperature, uh, like hot and cold. The hotter it is, um, it will stay with that uh, with that bone. The colder it is, which is more onto the blue, um, it will basically not have any influence uh, to that bone. So as you can tell, it's not 
it's not basically with the bone uh, entirely and you can tell there's there is an issue now if I go to this bone here you can earn uh, probably there's nothing really to see but you'll notice in a bit once I show you something that actually there these bones have got some influence to this uh, to uh, the beard so what I'm going to do first off is I'm just going to I'm going to show you but basically this is what it is as I show, to show you a second this is telling Blender that this is cold you don't want any influence but what we want is to put an influence of uh, telling Blender that this is the beard and the bone that we want the beard to be aligned to so I'm just going to um, just going to basically um, darken it. Uh, I'm just going to put some weight onto this. I'm basic, and you can tell straight away I'm doing it pretty quickly. But when you do yours, you, you probably will take your time, and you'll probably um, spend some time really working on this and getting it correctly done, uh, because you know, you'll be spending a lot of time doing this. Now you'll think, okay, that is brilliant. I've now got it all red. That's perfect. I can now go into pose mode and and start a a animating and it'll work. And you'll find that it actually doesn't work. There's something wrong. Now, through research, you know, I have been able to find some uh, I find ways uh, and reasons why this can uh, this can happen. And there's two, uh, two, uh, there's two ways you can find out whether there's enough, if the weight's actually been, uh, if there's enough weight on an uh, like a mesh, or if there's weight that isn't supposed to be on the, uh, like a bone that's supposed not supposed to have weight on it, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go up here. We are. We're gonna go to overlays. We are. And I'm gonna put active down here. So we got weight paints here, opacity up to one, which we want. We do, and we want zero weights active we do and we want to show the weights here we're going to click on this one here we do and now if we go closer in you can now tell that there isn't enough weight there's a problem here so if i start putting weight to it you can now tell uh, it, once I start putting my uh, basically putting weight to it, that now it starts disappearing. This is actually telling you that there isn't uh, there there is weight missing from this mesh. Uh, so I mean, as we do to go go through it. Now let's go back to now. Let's now come out, and we've done we've we this all red now. This is basically we put all our the full weight to this bone we have. Let's now go to the bone underneath it. There's nothing there. If we go to the next bone under, ah. So, as you can see, now if I didn't have this, where is it, uh, where is it uh, zero weights actually active, and select show way contours, we would never have known that there is, there is any of this uh, showing, uh, disappearing on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the weight all the way to zero and we're going to remove it. And you can already see we're having a massive influence on it now. Basically, this bone is no longer have, going to have any influence on uh, this um, mesh. It's going to be the top one, which we want the influence to have. We want the bone to have uh, all the influence to. So, so as you can see, we're now getting rid of it slowly. We are. We're, it's going to take time. We, we, we in a way, and there are probably ways that you can do this much easier. But I mean, this is a fun way. This is, and uh, you can spend your time uh, being an artist. And yeah, I mean, just going through it. And yeah, as you see, we've now got mainly all of it. So let's go down to the next bone. Ah, look, see. We now got weight on this bone, which we need to remove, and this is really helpful. This is going to tell us uh, where the weight, uh, where the weight is actually is, and it shouldn't be. So I'm just removing it again. And if you hear that fan, that's basically my computer going mad because um, I'm recording and doing Blender at the same time, which is two, basically two quite intensive uh, applications to do. Now. Again, we'll go onto this army, and we can already see there's uh, the arms having some influence on the on the mesh. We go to the next arm. Ah, again, see. 
So you really have to take your time on this, and and it does take time. It's not. It's it, you probably if you if there is a lot of objects such as maybe the hairs having issues and that kind of stuff, you might have to spend a quite a bit of time removing the weights from um, all of uh, each bone basically uh, until the um, the issue is resolved. And if we go down here, so we've now removed all of uh, the weights. Uh, and yeah, it looks a lot better now. So that's really good. I mean, so that's a way you can do it. And if there is where, unfortunately, sometimes um, there is still weight, but it's on the other side of the of the mesh. Um, sometimes you might have to flip it and then grab get get all of. Um, removed the weight from there so a way you can do that is um, and this RF, RF uh, found out basically sometimes they like here this mesh uh, this is the mesh here there can be sometimes weight still present behind the mesh so what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode we're going to select the whole beard we are go to mesh we're gonna go to our normals and we're going to flip it we are we're now going to go to the, uh, with the bone, select the bone, go to the uh, to the, the mesh, which is the beard, and now go to weights. And we're now going to go to each bone again, just to check if there's any any of the weights. And sometimes there may not be, but sometimes there will be. And you'll and you'll probably go, ah, there's something there. And I mean, and that's what I've had to do for, throughout this process, and it's really helped. So now, what I'm going to do is show you. The bone moving. So if we uh, if we now go into pose mode, and we now do that, can you see now? It, there is no more issues with this bone, uh, 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 with the mesh and the bone now. So you have none of this uh, issue where it was going into into the uh, into the mesh and you it, it disappeared. It's all there now and it's all fixed. Um, so yeah, that is how you fix it. You do, and just remember before you, it, just in case you did a point where is it flip it, just go here quickly, go to your edit mode, press A, go to mesh, and then flip it again, and it goes back to uh, the uh, right orientation. So yeah, here we are. So yeah. All, all fixed now and yeah I hope this video has helped um, remember it's, it's the same thing with the eyebrows the eyebrows will be the same issue it will be because of the other bones are influencing uh, having an influence on the mesh and you have to remove the weights from them. but if you just go down here go to your uh, your uh, go to your if we go here let's go go to your bone go to you go to the mesh bit Hold on. go come out of here Go to there and we go to the weight paints again if we go here as you can see again i mean the, the weights are there as you can tell there's problems i mean and it's going to be the same for all it's going to be the same process again you'll have to remove the weights from it and you'll have to go up here uh, to viewpoint overlays and s select these and this will help you massively in removing weights which shouldn't be there on pacific bones i hope this video has helped you with the process of fixing the issues with applying automatic weights and how to correct them. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.